War never changes. Hello Vault Dwellers, this is Kato Genesis, here once again to bring you a guide for Fallout 1. This one will be covering the unique weapons you can find within the game. There are five in total, two of which are found in special encounters, so higher luck characters might have an easier time getting all of these. Alongside the locations of all the weapons, I'll be showing you the base statistics of each as well. Things like AP cost, strength requirement, ammo capacity, etc. With all that in mind, let's get started. The first one we're looking for, and easiest to acquire, is the 9mm Mauser. This one is found in Junktown, at Gizmo's Casino, in the hands of the boss himself. After first introductions with Killian, the town mayor, you can then make a choice to ally with him in running Gizmo out of town. Do so, and the 9mm Mauser will be on Gizmo's corpse. Now this gun is both in Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. The difference is, this is the only location in Fallout 1, whereas in Fallout 2, it's a little more common of a sidearm. Disappointingly, the only ammo you'll find for this gun is also on Gizmo's corpse. So not only is it a unique gun, but it has only one place to find the ammo. The 9mm Mauser is an old military sidearm with a damage of 5 to 10, AP cost of 4 for a single shot. It can be loaded with up to 7 9mm bullets. Its strength requirement is 3 and its weight is 3 pounds. The 9mm Mauser is also noted as extremely accurate in its description. This is an automatic 20% accuracy bonus. Early game, if your character does use guns, this is a great one to hold on to. Next up is the handheld powerhouse, the 223 pistol. You can have this given to you in the hub, after completing a small task, naturally. In downtown of the hub, there is a man named Irwin, a refugee here, who seems to be down on his luck. If you are level 5 or higher, he will give you a quest to take care of the raiders on his property. Solve this problem for him and he will reward you with the 223 pistol. Simple as that. This one is described as a 223 rifle modified and cut down into pistol form. Its damage is 20 to 30. Single shots cost 5 AP while aimed costs 6. It uses 223 full metal jacket. Its ammo capacity is 5. Strength requirement is 5. And it weighs 5 pounds. This is boasted as the best non energy pistol in Fallout 1 because it comes with an extra hidden effect that removes 80% of the target's damage threshold. Take some aim shots at the bigger foes, even, and they'll go down almost effortlessly. The only downside I could think of would be that it has the loudest gunshot sound in the game. But that's what a volume slider is for, right? Next up is the Turbo Plasma Rifle. This one on its own cannot be found, and you will need a regular plasma rifle to get one. The Gunrunners in Boneyard can sell you a plasma rifle, and you can also find one in level 5 of the Glow, which I've also done a guide for, and you can check it out from the info card in the upper right, or the link down below. Regardless of how you get your regular plasma rifle, take a trip to Aditum in the LA Boneyard. After you are able to help out the townsfolk of Aditum, in particular helping Miles and Smitty set up the hydroponic farms, you can bring a plasma rifle to Smitty then, and he will upgrade your plasma rifle to its turbo variant. So what makes this plasma rifle turbo? I'm glad you asked. Its base damage will go up by 5, resulting in 35 to 70 plasma damage, and the cost for single shots drop down from 5 AP to 4. It uses microfusion cells as ammo, and can fire up to 10 times before it needs reloaded. Its strength requirement is 6, and it weighs 14 pounds. This version of the plasma rifle also has a greatly increased range, from 25 to 35 hexes away. Still not quite the distance of laser rifles, but definitely makes up for it in raw damage. If energy weapons are your thing, I strongly suggest you consider this one. Next is the Red Rider Limited Edition BB Gun. During your adventures out on the world map, this BB gun can be found in a special encounter called Bob's Pre-Owned Car Mart. Once the encounter happens, find your way inside the shack behind Bob. You can do this with lockpicking or explosives. And the limited edition BB gun is in a crate on the right side. There is also a footlocker in here with a regular variant of the Red Rider BB gun, as well as some more BBs. You wouldn't expect something like this to be useful in combat, but Somehow it is. Where the regular variant of the Red Rider BB gun does 1 to 3 damage, this one does 25. Straight across, 25. Its single shot AP cost has been reduced to 4, and of course the limited edition uses BBs as its ammo, and can be loaded with a total of 100. Its strength requirement is 3, and its weight is 15 pounds. The Red Rider limited edition BB gun also comes with a long range modifier. So it's a BB gun you can also probably snipe with. Now there's no need to question the silliness of this weapon's power, just the fact that it is powerful. 
and will devastate in the right hands. Last of the unique weapons to go over is the Alien Blaster. As you would expect, another found in a special encounter, found by wandering the wastes long enough, with higher odds of course depending on your luck. This encounter is simply called Alien Ship. You will find the Alien Blaster on one of the extraterrestrial corpses by the crashed ship. Even though I'm going to give you the statistics of the Alien Blaster, not much needs to be said. Its damage is 30 to 90 electrical, it costs 4 AP for a single shot, can be loaded with 30 small energy cells, not alien power cells, has a strength requirement of 2 and weighs 2 pounds. This weapon will deal the most damage in Fallout 1 per combat turn. It also comes with a weapon accurate affix, like the Mauser mentioned earlier. The only downside with the Alien Blaster is its extremely short range. In fact, the shortest range of all the weapons in Fallout 1. I wouldn't see it as that bad of a trade-off though, since anything within range can be reduced to a pile of ash. Not sure how many other ways I can say it, you get this gun, you win Fallout. That Vault Dwellers is all of the unique weapons you can find in Fallout 1. If you found this guide useful, entertaining, or both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that. And if you'd like to see more like this, you know what to do. Please consider supporting the channel on Patreon, and thank you so very much for watching. This is Kato Genesis, holding out hope that you can save the Vault today and the Wasteland tomorrow.